Good evening. It's five o'clock, so it is indeed evening. I'll start in French and then I'll answer your questions in English. You've had quite a few explanations from the vice president of the commission. I imagine from the two commissioners as well, from the presidency. So I think I can probably be very brief. My comment today is that I'm very pleased to see there's been a very strong uh, unanimous support from member states to take a stance against this uh, threat which has changed in nature. We're not just talking about uh, Europe, uh, uh, which is a uh, or a threat which is uncoordinated. We're talking about something ISIS, Daesh, which is uh, very coordinated, which has changed its strategy. Uh, we saw attacks at Ankara. We've saw, seen attacks at Sinai against the Russian airplane, Beirut, and now in Paris. Bamako is a little bit different, I think, although it's too early to draw any conclusions on that front. So the ministers of uh, the Interior and of Justice met together. That's very good. We need both ministries involved, others as well, uh, responsible for other policies in order to uh, come up with a very good response to this uh, issue. I want to focus on three main points today. We can talk about justice later. First, we're speeding up uh, measures that were already put in place since January, uh, some even before then, systematic checks, for example, external borders even for uh, European nationals. The PNR, uh, firearms, uh, terrorist financing, legislation. Uh, so implementing a UN uh, a resolution on foreign fighters, for example, and fighting against that. Second, uh, strengthening of Europol. St Europol should be a platform of that connects all the agencies to facilitate exchange of information and that uh, strengthens operational cooperation in Europe. Europol was immediately requested uh, to help uh, by Belgium and France, given the recent attacks. The third main point is that the issue of external borders. So we'll come back perhaps to the issue of uh, European nationals, but also checks for third country nationals. The two major concerns here is to continue to uh, develop measures to ensure that within the EU we maintain the, uh, within Schengen we maintain free movement, but also to ensure that uh, uh, the countries that are most subject to the enormous uh, migratory flows right now are able to manage the situation the uh, to distinguish between illegal migrants uh, legal migrants and uh, refugee seekers and to make sure that security checks are carried out correctly now i'm very pleased on our change of viewpoint we're going to try to uh, correct institutional errors that exist. Uh, we've had institutional problems since the Treaty of Lisbon, where we had two completely different worlds, migration, uh, asylum, border controls, which were uh, based on certain legislation, and then other issues that were uh, ruled, governed by different legislative texts, two things which com had nothing to do with each other. Today, Frontex cannot share its data. Frontex collects data, uh, debriefs the migrants, but it can't actually share that information with Europol. That's the result of this institutional mismatch that we've lived with for years. I think the uh, considerable advantage today is that we are going to strengthen Frontex. We're going to have it be more involved in the security issue while respecting the uh, various specialties of the two agencies because we don't want to mix everyone up. An we don't want to just assume that any immigrant is a criminal. We have to resist the temptation, which I think is, doesn't yet exist, and I'll explain why. Uh, 
which are considered which uh, are considered to present uh, a significant threat. There's no link between the migratory flows and uh, the terrorist threat, and I'll go into that later. Those are the three major points. And there are, are a couple of legal issues, rehabilitation as well. We had a seminar a month ago. Uh, Mrs. Jehovah organized that. Speeding up and refining the ICRIS system that is the European Criminal Records Information System, and harmonizing uh, the fight against foreign terrorists. So those are the three main issues. And the details uh, concerning those issues are found in the conclusion. It's, um, it's more to answer a question that I'm here than, than to lecture. Who wants to? 